Okay, so we're here in Final Cut Pro 10 and we're going to have a look at how we create a split screen um, here with some multiple layers. We're going to have, have a look at how we can use cropping and resizing to get some multiple screens going on um, within our edit here. So we'll just have a look at the piece of footage that we're working with. We've got this retro skateboarding piece of footage and we're going to come up and then somewhere in this spin we're going to move to a, a split screen and look at how that works. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is just hide some of these other windows in Final Cut. So first of all, we're going to hide the libraries and then the browser so that we can really see clearly what's going on. And then also we're going to end up with a few layers here within our timeline. So we're going to just resize the clip height um, and we only need to see the thumbnail of the clips. Okay, so we'll drop those right down so that we can see two or three different layers there as we're working. Okay, all right, so the first thing we're going to do is break the clip. So there's a couple of different ways of doing this. One is to come to a, a point in the timeline and then come to our blade tool and we can use that and slice right through this clip. Okay, the other way of doing it um, is to use the shortcut. So if we come to our point in the clip and then use Command and B, that will slice the clip. And you can see now if I've got the selection tool highlighted here, I can select those two clips independently. Okay, so we wanna have this kind of fluid motion between the clips. So we're not gonna move these clips anywhere in time. We're gonna kind of keep them layered up so that the skateboarding move is continuous even though we're gonna to move to multiple screens, which is gonna give quite a nice effect. Uh, the first thing we want to do is just click on this original clip and we're going to rescale it. So the tool we're going to use is the transform tool across here on the left. And once we've selected that and we've got the clip highlighted, we can come in and we can transform this up. Okay. Now, one thing I sometimes like to do when I'm transforming is just zoom out so I can really have a bit more control over where I'm pulling these handles outside of the screen. So see the view level is 34% here. I'm just gonna come down to 25% so that when I drag these handles, it shows me a bit more detail as I'm moving it. So we wanna make sure that when we end up here, we have as much of the, the kind of skateboarder in the shot as possible. So I'm just gonna bump this up a little bit. Okay, and that looks pretty good. Okay, so we're coming to this point. Okay, so now it's nice, it means we've, we can click down across here on the top right. It's nice, it's, we can actually see that we've filled the screen. So we've got rid of uh, some of this detail from the old VHS video format that's been used to film this. We've just got this nice kind of clean edged image, okay? So we'll come to the second clip that we've made here in the split. Okay, and we're going to use a shortcut key on the keyboard. So we're going to hold down the Alt key and just drag that clip up. Okay, now one thing I've got turned on here, which is important just to make sure that we keep things lined up, um, is snapping. So across here on the right, you can see my snapping is set to blue. And that means that when I'm dragging these clips around, you can see that um, they're starting at the same point. If we want to see the clip below this clip that we have now above the, the previous clip, um, we can right click and then just go to disable that clip and you can see that they're both in exactly the same position. Okay, so let's create the first split screen. So the first thing we're going to do is take this top clip and we're going to enlarge it a bit. Okay, and then underneath the transform tool here, we have some other options for transforming, cropping and distorting. And we're going to use the, the crop tool. Okay, so we're going to crop this from the right hand side and you'll start to see we can actually see the, the clip below it. So we're going to crop this down and then jump back to the transform tool and move this here. So you can see we're already ending up with two video layers there. Okay, and we get this kind of nice effect where it splits. Okay, so let's jump to the, the layer behind. Okay, and we're going to scale this one down. Okay, so we'll scale it down and then we'll just move them across to the, the side here. So we still see a nice amount of this video footage. And then we'll use the crop tool 
just to tidy up some of these edges that we can see here. Okay. Okay, let's come down to our timeline and just change it to the clip display option and that will make our layers even smaller so that when we're actually so when we're actually viewing things we'll be able to see multiple layers um, as we kind of go along. So we've got these two layers now and you can see they're nice and in sync as we move through there. Okay, let's grab one more. So we'll hold down the Alt key again and drag this up and we can just keep moving and repeating this as we move along. So we'll go back to transform and we'll move this guy over here. And what you can see here is that the layers on top here are obscuring the layers behind. Okay, so it's stacking in the same kind of way that something like Photoshop stacks if you've not worked with layers a lot before. Okay, and we're gonna zoom right in on this one, okay, on the skateboard. Okay, and we'll just see that that spin, so we'll come a little bit more to the right here, so we're getting a bit more of that spin in there. Okay, and we can move this across. Okay. And sometimes when we're working here now, we want to zoom right in. And when we're zoomed in, you can see that we can see this little controller on the right that allows us to move around nicely in the clip. And really what I'm looking to do here with the transform tool selected, so I'm jumping back to the transform on the left there, is just to make sure that the edge of this video is nice and lined up. Okay, so we get a nice crisp edge. Okay, and then we'll jump back to fit and We'll zoom in again, and I'm just going to adjust this right edge so that it matches up nicely. So I'll come across to here, grab the crop again, and just drag this corner out if I can. Oh, actually, no, we're going to have to move this across. Okay, and then come back here, and then with the crop tool. Just pull this edge out this way. So we'd reach the edge on the other side, which is why we've now got to come in and move things around a little bit. Okay, let's go back to fit. And you can see, if we click done, we've now got this nice kind of playthrough where it spins and you get everything nice and in sync. Okay. And then I think when we land back here, we're gonna go back to the, the full screen, okay? So if we pull these two clips back, so I'm just jumping to the end of those clips and putting them back, and then we'll select the bottom clip and just use Command and B again to break that layer. We'll come here, okay? And then if we go to Window and Show Inspector with this clip selected, We'll go to our video and you can see in here that we've got more control um, kind of as per pixel of the position um, and the rotation and you can see we've also got this reset button here which is really useful so we've split our screen we've come here and now we're going to reset back to the original screen okay so we've reset the original properties now actually if you remember we cropped this up so that it would fill the screen. Okay, so actually you want to come back rather than to the original setup, we want to come to this cropped off and zoomed in setup. Okay, so if we grab this clip, go to edit and copy, and then come here, we can go to edit and use this function paste attributes. Now what this is going to do is bring up a window which will allow us to paste audio levels, for instance, audio effects, but also the video attributes, okay? And you can see here that we've got transform options set up here. So we've got um, position, scale, and then we've also got crop set up here, okay? So if we paste these three attributes that we've changed in this first clip, we'll get exactly the same setup. And this is a really nice feature. We can do this on more than one clip at the same time, um, this copy and paste attributes, but this, you can see now because it's a real nice split screen. Still got some space over here to fill. We're going to work on that in a sec. And then we jump back to this in the same position. So let's play.
play that through. Okay. All right. Let's add one more clip in here. So we'll grab this bottom layer and bring them up to the top. Grab the transform tool and then just enlarge this. Okay. And what we'll do here is just use the, the fact that we've got these multiple layers to enable us to kind of drop that behind those other clips. Okay, now because these are the same length, I can drop this onto the timeline and then we can pull these other clips across and because they're exactly the same length and we've got snapping turned on, we can kind of move these around like a deck of cards until we've got them in the right order. Okay, so. And you can see them highlighted as we kind of move through. Okay, so I'm just moving these around, shuffling them around, and now you can see that we've got some nice crisp edges there. I'll click Done, and we can play this through. And we end up with this nice split screen with crops and zooms all set up there, and then jumping back to the original size of the footage. Okay, so that's a quick intro to using a split screen in Final Cut Pro 10. Um, if you have any questions, send me a tweet at Ben Housel and I'm happy to provide a tutorial based on your questions. Um, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.